Hey guys, long time no see. I hope you guys have been keeping busy clearing all the wonderful ICC content and, well, otherwise just keeping busy. This week we finally saw a heroic mode Lich King kill on the 25 man version by Paragon, even before the 10% buff got released, so congrats to Paragon. Uh, they also got an invincible mount on their kill, which makes it seem pretty likely that invincible is actually going to be a 100% drop from the 25 man heroic Lich King. Which is pretty nice, once, you know, normal people actually start killing him. It's been six weeks since hard modes have been accessible at this point in time, so the attempt system somewhat did its job of keeping progression in check. However, to counteract that, we do have the, uh, the second ICC buff that, rumor has it, is going to be increased to 10% this coming Tuesday. So whether we approve of it or not, it should enable us to see some more Lich King kills fairly soon. The buff itself is actually a very controversial topic in the WoW community right now. It seems a lot of people are completely split on whether they like or dislike the buff. Uh, my personal opinion on it is that it's not a bad idea per se, but I do think it was released too early and I definitely think it should not have extended to hide modes this quickly, at least until a majority of raiders have at least gotten close to killing the Lich King on normal mode. Uh, that way it would have actually staggered out progression properly, yet it would have allowed people to experience all the content that they like. The changes may not be very noticeable to a more casually progressing guild, but if you're clearing hard modes, you definitely notice that even the 5% was a gigantic buff. Uh, as an example, Fester Gut, it's basically the difference between, you know, not being able to mess up at all to have the DPS to kill him and, you know, have a couple people die and then still be able to kill him. Alas, the system is in place and we'll just see how it pans out for the rest of ICC. Also been talked about a lot has been the release of the Ruby Sanctum, which we should see in a couple months time at most to fill some time in between now and Cataclysm. Uh, the Ruby Sanctum will feature a 10 man and a 25 man raid instance as well as hard modes for both, so stay tuned for more news on the subject. In other WoW news, BlizzCon 2010 has finally been announced. Although there were rumors of a location change, BlizzCon will take place in the Anaheim Convention Center on October 22nd and 23rd, 2010. Ticket sales have not yet been announced, so keep an eye on the BlizzCon site if you want to get your hands on some tickets. We all know that's not gonna be easy. To purchase tickets, you will need a Battle.net account, and you will want to make sure ahead of time that all the information that's linked to your Battle.net account is up to date. Now a slightly different topic, uh, if you're a tank spot regular visitor, you've probably noticed that the beloved shout box has made a return, along with some other pretty cool side features. Ciderhelm has joined the hype and activated his Twitter account, which you can also keep up with on the forums. Uh, also note that this does not actually prove whether or not he's a human being. Laura might have made a Twitter account too, so go ahead and stalk him if you can find it. And if you're wondering about the shirt I'm wearing, this and many more shirts can be purchased at tankspot.com shop, including stylish marmots and tank designs. That's about all I got for this week. Uh, next week's marmot will probably be about healer UIs and the essentials of what you should have to be a more effective healer. Until then, I hope you have a great and enjoyable week and I will see you next time.